A very good morning to everyone today. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options and your morning market preparation video for August 7th, 2017. Hey everyone, we have a bunch of uncertainty surrounding this market. Um, lots of danger, I think, exists here. When we look at um, the diamonds here, you can see that we are you know, in a wedge pattern clearly a, a wedge pattern. We're holding above the 50 day moving average right now, but we have failed back through this support level. We're looking at three lower highs here and some warning shots that should give us some pause. Okay. And we're facing a tremendous amount of uncertainty as news events of all of these different things and th stuff from, you know, the budget wrangling in Washington, DC to that, that kook over there in North Korea with his finger on a nuclear button and um, Hurricane Irma and followed right by Hurricane Jose. We have all of these things that are creating uncertainty for the market. And I believe in what, what we've got going on here is a very dangerous place for new or inexperienced traders to be. I, I've traded the market for 27 years. I can tell you, I don't, I'm not sure I have um, the ability to effectively trade this market. I'm not a day trader. I'm a swing trader. Um, day traders would have a much more, um, potential ability here than a swing trader or position trader. What we're going to see probably is some extreme volatility. And every time we get a news report, it could inspire the bulls to jump in or inspire the bears to jump in. We could also see very quick whipsaw price action. It's going to make it very challenging here as, as these waters get really choppy. Okay. And, um, be very, very careful. Um, if I were, if I had the power, I would be, um, ordering evacuations of inexperienced people out of the market today. And for the next several days, we just don't know what's going to happen here. And there's no reason to risk your money in a high risk environment right now, because anything is truly possible. If we take a look at the SPY, SPY still in a good position, holding above the 50 day moving average and holding above price support. And those are great things, but we have some things here that are a problem. Okay. Notice that our 50 day moving average here is starting to flatten out. We had this rally back up a very steep rally back up, but it just happens that we rejected that high and ended up putting in this evening star pattern right here. Now, yesterday's rally up helped a little bit. That definitely, you know, was nice to see that we got a little bounce out of that, but it didn't change the game. Now, if we were in a normal market, I would say this was a perfect test of support, you know, get ready for the bulls to step in. But with so much uncertainty in the market, I don't want to uh, make that comment at all. In fact, I would say there's a lot of danger in here. So be very, very careful. If I were to um, rank the indexes, I would put the Q's as the strongest index. The Q's has um, its 50 day moving average. You can notice is still rising up. We had, this is the only index uh, from this last uh, low that made a new high. And we've come back here to test this price support. We're still above the 50 and we're still above trend. So I have to rank the Q's as the strongest of the indexes, but still there's trouble here and we'll want to be very careful as we move forward. It won't, wouldn't take much in a news report to really start moving this lower. And you know, if we were to see something like the diamonds crash through that 50 day moving average, expect lots of stop losses to occur. You know, stop loss orders will start to trip. And we could see some really quick selling when one index starts moving down like that, or does move down like that, it will affect even the strongest index, the Q's in that situation. Also, if I were ranking, um, indexes, I've got to put IWM as the weakest of the bunch, um, a bearish engulfing pattern here, a failure of the 50 day moving average again. Um, and, um, no, nothing here that I would be 
overly confident of. So I would take IWM to the bank as the weakest of the indexes and the one that really kind of serves as a counterbalance to the Qs right now. So we just have lots of uncertainty and um, uh, it's, a, it's a game that's going to be uh, dangerous to play here, I think, for a while. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now, the VIX pulled back sharply. We had this big move the other day, popped up with all that fear, and then the bulls stepped back in and they pulled it all back, and now we've moved down a little bit more. We're still down here in this danger zone, but just notice how just a one-day move, it's only going to take a single report to spike us again. And we need to be really careful. Though. Notice how quick and often these spikes are coming okay we've got volatility here and that volatility is going to be difficult for swing traders especially inexperienced swing traders to deal with if this fear spikes if we get a news report saying that the track of irma is headed directly into uh you know landfall in at the tip of florida there um expect this market not to like that um like that report so we could move this around pretty quickly be careful okay is what i'm saying so folks as we um kind of wrangle around in, in in this these um choppy waters i want you to be really really careful really cautious um you know we can always wait waiting doesn't cost you a penny we can wait for better markets to come and they will come so why try to fight a, a difficult market when we can just stand aside and wait for a better day? Okay. No need to play in that pool. Um, hey folks, if um, and this is the first time you've seen this information, if you've seen the, these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button. Click that uh, follow me button on Facebook. I put this information out every day as part of my morning prep and I just happen to share it. It's, it's not really from the goodness of my heart that I'm doing this, but if you find it helpful, um, I, I believe in preparation, not luck. So if you find this helpful, you know, please um, you know, please click those buttons because that will help. Um, um, you'll be notified when I post every single day. Also, if you could click on that, um, thumbs up button, that does help as well. And please feel free to give me a comment. Everyone, I want to wish you a very profitable day for those in Florida. I send out all kinds of prayers to you. Be safe. Um, let's be prepared for this don't don't fight this storm it looks like it's a monster be careful and i wish you all um, great success and safety everyone take care and i will talk to you all soon